Okay, starting off turn number three with Arjun. Uh, the first thing we're going to use is our uh, utility power. You use this at the start of your hero phase to regain two hit points. So we use that, we flip it over. Arjun goes back up to eight. And now, let's see here. We can use... Um, so let's use, let's start with Dragon's Breath. Let's... Uh, because this does not count as an attack, and we get to attack every monster on the tile. So if we can take down the Gargoyle, that'll be good just to get out of the way. It only has one hit point left. It does have a 16 AC, so it's really hard to hit. But we'll see what we can do. So first up, we'll attack the Gargoyle. And that hits. Uh, so that's good. So we, take, we took out the Gargoyle. I mean, we could have ran away from it, but with all the monsters starting to pile up, it's better just to get rid of that thing. All right, so we got lucky on that one. Uh, we took down the gargoyle, and oh, we now have five experience. We can cancel in one encounter. Uh, now he gets to use Dragon's Breath on everybody on the tile, so we're also going to be able to use that to attack the uh, Blazing Skeleton. Blazing Skeleton has two hit points, <clears throat> but if we can at least do one damage to it, since this doesn't count as an attack, we can still use another attack. So let's attack the Blazing Skeleton. It has a 13 AC. And 9 plus 4 is 13. It just hits. Very lucky on that one. Made very good use out of that daily power. So now we flip over that daily power and take the Blazing Skeleton off the board as well. Very glad to see that thing go. Alright, let's update for Arjun before we go any further. So um, he didn't use that uh, he does gain treasure because he did kill. Technically, he hasn't used his attack or his move yet. But let's gain treasure because we have killed a monster. We can only, even though we killed two monsters, we can only take one treasure card. Moments respite. Uh, place this card face up on either the encounter or the monster deck. Okay. Um, let me think about that. I usually go for encounters. Let's yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's put it on top of the encounter deck. All right, so now, uh, so he still has his movement, and he still has his attack action. So let's, uh, let's, uh, well, first of all, let's use the Trapping Strike to pull the spider over to us. So get over here, and then attack the spider with a plus eight. And it has a 15, so we need to get a seven or better. <clears throat> and that's an 18 that'll hit so we're kicking butt and taking names Arjun alright so the spider goes down and it's too bad that you don't get you know like it, like one treasure for every two monsters or something like that because it seems, it seems like he deserves it so we took down the blazing skeleton we took down the gargoyle we took down the spider all right, so Arjun, uh, he has now used his attack. Um, we still haven't moved, so we can still move if we want. I'm thinking I'm going to have him move over here, so because he can only move two, so one, two, so he's on that unexplored edge. Now he's at the end of his hero phase, so the slowness wears off. So let's go ahead and update. So he did move. Um, now the slowness wears off. Now he is on an unexplored edge, so we will be exploring. All right, and we got a white, so no encounter. Um, so maybe I should have placed that on the uh, monster, but you know, yeah, the next time I go to draw an encounter, I'll be glad that I don't have to. So monster, oh, another blazing skeleton. Yeah, just took you down, buddy. Place the blazing skeleton on the tile, uh, bone pile, the new, newly drawn tile. And that was a white, another blazing skeleton. In some sense it's unfortunate that we took that one down because if you draw, if the same hero draws a monster of the same name, you discard the monster and draw a new monster. But So blazing skeleton number two, or part two. And the blazing skeleton will now activate, and it's just going to attack everybody on Arjun's tile, which is just him. It's going to get a plus seven on that attack. And does damage whether it hits or not. 
12 plus 7 is 19. That's going to be a hit. So we're going to take the full damage for 2, taking us back down to 6. But Arjun had a pretty productive turn. No complaints there. Um, now Alyssa is going to have her go. And just right from where she's at, she's going to use her ping to take out the wolf. And I think, uh, yeah, it's another stack of five. So now we can cancel two encounters. So the wolf goes down. And Alyssa will get treasure for that. But let's update. So she didn't use a surge. She did attack. She killed, so we get treasure. So let's draw a treasure for Alyssa. And scroll of teleportation. I definitely did not set, uh, shuffle these worth a darn. I mean, I really feel like I'm spent a lot of time shuffling, but I think the problem is I just don't get enough separation between cards, and I end up with just chunks of cards that are all the same. Anyway, uh, she can move. Doesn't have to because she has Scout. So I think I'll just have her stay. Well, I guess I'll have her move down to this tile because of the idea I'm trying to get Arjun and Alyssa to like reconvene up in this area. So she'll move down here, use Scout to get this tile, which is a dead end. So it's okay. Draw a new monster for Alyssa. Another gargoyle, man. Getting all the really tough ones. Alright, so she did move. Uh, she did explore. She got a black tile. Gargoyle. There will be an encounter. The wolf is gone. So we now have the sliding walls and the gargoyle. They activate in the order they're drawn. All right, so first of all, the encounter, but luckily we have this, so we just draw this and discard it instead. So no encounter. So the sliding walls activates and doesn't do anything, and then the gargoyle activates. And the gargoyle will move to her tile and attack with the whirlwind of claws. So we'll come over here, and it gets a plus eight on that attack, does damage either way but does extra damage if it hits and slows her down. That's going to be a hit and a slowness. So Alyssa's now slowed. Yep, okay. Takes two more damage, bringing her down to five. And slowed. And that will be the end of her villain phase and the end of turn number three.